Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and the new heroic race has begun. Here, we've got this beautiful heroic race going on, and we've got 11 days to do our best. Here, we're starting off at lap one, node one, and here, we're going to have to get items by feeding our dragons. We're going to have a bunch of different missions, and we're going to do our best to either get first place or to make it to lap 15. Now, in order to qualify, you got to reach lap five, and here, I'm just getting started. I had a meeting this morning, so I'm off to a little bit of a late start, but it's not a big deal because you got to remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. For this heroic race, we're going to be able to get this beautiful high cavernous dragon. It's got terra, pure ice, and dark elements there, and it looks amazing. Ooh, I've got to get this dragon. I'm going to do everything I can to either get first or make it to lap 15. Here, if we check out the lap rewards, if we just make it to lap 2, we're going to get 20 free gems. Here, lap 3, if you make it to lap 3, you get a very rare egg chest. Lap 4, you can get a diamond ore. Lap five, lucky legendary chest there. Lap six, epic egg chest. There's some food, another diamond ore, and we've got some amazing rewards. Ooh. And then the one that we want to get to here is to reach lap 15 with the high cavernous dragon. Final prizes are here. We've got the high cavernous dragon. There's also the explorer dragon. Really cute there. Very rare dragon. Ooh, yeah. Here. We also have the Fuel Dragon. Ooh, epic. So this is an epic dragon here. Interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting there. And then last but not least, ooh, the Moon Shade Dragon. Ooh, this one's definitely calling for me. Here, it's a legendary dragon with dark electric primal and war elements. And it looks fierce. And you know, I love the moon. So definitely, it's calling for me. Well, enough of this. Let's get this started. Here, we got to start off by feeding our dragons. So we're going to go to our dragon book. And I like to put them in power by order ascending or descending, depending on what my goal is. Here, we're just looking to feed a dragon, and we're looking for four of those icons. So it's not going to take that long, and here, perfect. We've got the grass dragon. So here, one, two, three, and four. We got it. Hey, we're off to a good start there. So my goal isn't to level up the dragons. It's really to get that progress and to get those items. Now we got to get items by collecting gold. So we're looking for five of those ruby gems there. Shouldn't take too long here. I didn't collect any gold yet, so I think it's going to go pretty well. And yep, there we go. Now we've got to get items by collecting food. We need four of those dragon fruit. Here, you can collect it from your greenhouse. Doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. And then here, I've got a bunch of food that I started growing last night. And looks like we got it. Y'all squeen. Next, we have to get items by feeding your dragons. And this is the part where it gets interesting because there's going to be a cool down. Here, we're going to be able to feed our dragons five out of six. And then we're going to have to wait five minutes. So here, we're going back to the dragon book. And I want to get five of those items here. And there's that grass dragon. We're going to stick with this one for now. And nothing yet there. So I like to get my, dra my dragons to level 20. Here, we're going with the next strongest dragon. And we're just going to feed this dragon. Let's go. So there we got one beetle. We're looking for five. Two. And three, four, five. Yes, we got it. So there, we just got the Night Terror Dragon to level eight. And we also got those five beetles. Now, let's just make sure. Yeah, so five out of six here. Now, I'm going to wait five minutes. And then in five minutes from now, we're going to be able to get that sixth beetle there. Then after this, we're going to have some battles. So here, I'm definitely going to take it nice and slow. When it comes to our free spin, I'm not going to use this. Here, I'm going to save this for a little bit later today when I have something that's really difficult and that's worth it. Right now, I know I know how to do this. Feeding dragons, it's easy. So I'm just going to be patient and keep on working hard for it. I want to get this going because we got a lot of stuff to do today. And uh, unfortunately, my meeting set me back a little bit. But we still got this and we're going to crush it. Now, when it comes to feeding dragons, sometimes with those timers, I like to set myself a little timer because I forget about the cooldown. So here, we've got five-minute food. We know that once this timer is done, we're good to go. We could feed that dragon and we should get that symbol once we get it. Yeah. 
beautiful so things are looking real good here and I'm just kind of starting the soft slow here I want to get those uh, habitats that have the food producing dragons there that's gonna give us some extra food very very useful and let's check out our battles here if we go to quests we've got those battles going on right now okay so there's no special quest battles at least not today so there that's going super good here if we go to our tree of life uh, we've got the shop you know I love to get those orbs here so I'm gonna purchase a couple of those orbs there things are looking real good here we're empowering the ascended divine dragon so that's still gonna take a little bit of time there and we're done recalling the music dragon so that's looking real good there. Next, I think I'm going to recall the War Dragon. I'm trying to get my War Dragon fully empowered. Here, my strongest one has four stars of empowerment. So I'm working on that there. Here, I've got a level one War Dragon, which I'm going to recall. Beautiful. I want to make sure I save at least three of the War Dragons for the Puzzle Island when we have to breed war and nature together. Yeah, so there, that's looking great. It's going to take three and a half hours, and perfect. We've got a busy day today, but things are going to go great. Yeah. So here, things are looking really good. I've been working on my towers. Let's see. Nothing there. That one's not done. And, ah, nothing there. Okay, no biggie there. Here, we're just going to send our dragons. Eh, I want to save that dragon, actually. Maybe this isn't the best time to work on those towers. Yeah, those are all my strong dragons that I use for battles. So if I have any league battles, if I have anything come up, I want to make sure I have those strong dragons there. Perfect. So I paused the video real quick, uh, the recording, because I sneezed. But here, it's perfect because our food is ready. That means we know it's time to feed that dragon. So here... I'm going to go back to our dragons, and we can really feed whatever dragon we want. It can even be a stronger dragon if that's the direction we're going in. But for now, I'm starting off with these uh, lower level dragons just because I want to save my food. I have been saving food. I'm so excited for this heroic race. Oh, we're going to have some fun. Yeah. Here, if we go back to this, we're now on lap one, node five. We've got to get items from battles. So here, we're going to go and battle the queen dragon. Let's go. Here, this is a perfect opportunity to rank up your dragons. I'm sure you've heard me mention this before if you've watched me play the heroic races before, but it really is a great opportunity. So like, for example, here, I'm trying to get my prideful vampire to an A+, and this is the perfect spot to get a little bit of training. Here, we're going to have to wait 15 minutes for our next uh, battle here. But once that's ready to go, we're going to go ahead and get that battle, and we'll be moving on to lap two and getting those 20 gems. Hey, I'll be back in 15 minutes. Beautiful. About 15 minutes has gone by, and it's time for our second encounter. Here, let's go. We're going to do our best to get that victory and move on to lap two. I'm super excited for this heroic race, and I plan to mix it a uh, mix it up a little bit with my videos so I'm not going to be doing every single lap but I'm going to be covering a bunch of different tips tricks and strategies to help all of us crush it and get this new heroic dragon here we just reached lap two and we got those 20 gems that is what I'm talking about here this is looking beautiful and I can't wait to uh, can't wait to keep on crushing this here I'm going to make another video for lap two but like I said I'm not going to cover every single lap so make sure to stay tuned because I've got a lot of tips coming your way. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I hope to see you soon. Happy gaming, everybody, and good luck with the heroic race. Peace.